Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with automationlinks.com. Today, I'm really excited to share with you the exact strategy that I use to grow my fitness and nutrition business to up to three new clients every single week. Now, it was a really crazy strategy. I didn't even know I was doing it at the time, but it was working and I didn't know why until I actually looked back and I got into the business. So when I was running my fitness business, I was posting a testimonial that I received from my clients once a week. And after about six months, all of a sudden, people started coming to my website and contacting me. After a year, I was getting three to five new clients weekly, if not every other week, sometimes up to eight to 10 new clients a month, which is outstanding in just a year. Now, one of the hardest things to do is grow your website, especially if you're busy running a business. It's just too hard to really focus on the site, posting new content. And that is the trick to post new content on a consistent basis but you just don't have time to write blog posts and make videos and do all this stuff. So the easiest way and also the best way to get your keywords in there is to create your reviews and testimonials inside of your website. So today I put together a checklist and a form that you can use for your business. So this easily gets put into your site on a weekly consistent basis. Please comment. Yes. If you guys want this form, I will send it right over to you. So I put together the checklist that I will show you right now, and we're gonna go over it and I'll give you some, some tips in how exactly you should do it. So number one, set up a job form in your website or get their shareable link to share with your customers. So the first step is making it easy for your customers to leave you a review and testimonial. Nobody wants to write it down on a piece of paper, and if you email asking them for a review, they really don't wanna think about it or they can't think about the review and the th things that they wanna tell you. Um, it's just a little bit too hard for them, especially if they're busy. So make it easy for them and they're more likely to give you reviews. So the job form is super easy. Um, it's something just like this. You can go in, set up different questions, uh, different choices that they can do. And then most importantly, give them an example of what you want that review and testimonial to say, and then have them give you a star rating. Now, another thing that you can do is also grab your reviews and testimonials from your social media pages. We use them from our LinkedIn page. Uh, you can use them from your Google reviews, your Yelp, or even your Facebook page. All right, next thing you need to do is set up an automated email to go out a couple weeks after someone starts working with you. That's just enough time for them to experience your service, but then not too long for something maybe for them to leave or for them to go do something you know, to another business. Or sometimes people have a bad experience after a couple months. Um, if, if they leave. So get it right when they're happy with your business, which is a couple weeks after they start. So as an example, we have an email that goes out uh, a couple weeks after they sign up. So they get their initial email. A week later, they get a, uh, some tips. Um, and then a week after that, they get um, our analytics email. And then they ask for an honest review. We ask them for an honest review with the link back to the site to make it easy for them. So right in the email, we're actually giving them the link. All they have to do is click on this and they're gonna go to our review page to leave us a review. So like I said, the easier you make it on them and the easier you make it on yourself to request that through automated emails, the more reviews and testimonials you're gonna get. All right, next one, I mentioned Facebook and Google you can use, and then you can use their uh, social media pictures. It's uh, open to the public. So you can use those pictures inside your blog post. Um, and then next step, you need to create a calendar reminder for yourself to post one review or testimonial once a week on the exact same day and time. Now you can set this up in advance. You can go in um, every, the first Monday of every month and you can upload four, four reviews and testimonials and just set them to publish every Monday at 12 o'clock. So you have the whole months ready to go. Um, I think at the most, it takes me a half hour if it's your first month or two doing it, it might take you an hour, but an hour out of your day for the whole month to build up your rankings on Google is going to be so beneficial for you and your website in the long run. Uh, next word you want to add in the blog post is testimonial. Make sure you put <clears throat> testimonial in there so uh, search engines and Google uh, see that. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it here. I have a testimonial that I set up that I received from a client of ours right from LinkedIn. From LinkedIn. Uh, they filled this out. Uh, they said that they've been working with us for a couple months, customer service and results they like. They gave us all this. They wrote the testimonial and gave me a five out of five. They actually left this on our LinkedIn page. 
So what I'll do is I'll scroll down and show you that. And then we're gonna upload that to our website. Super easy for you guys. Let's see here. All right, here it is here. So I'm gonna take their name, Ken and Shelly Clark. I'm gonna go add a new post. And even if you don't have WordPress, maybe you have a different Squarespace or something, you can do it just like a normal blog post. We're gonna go testimonial. And then we're gonna say, you know, who that's from. Just like that. Then we're gonna grab the, the testimonial they left us. Put it in the copy. Now search engines are gonna pick up on these keywords about your business. They're gonna see Brad and Danielle. They're gonna see automation links. Next, especially if you're a local business, we wanna say the location, St. Petersburg, Florida. So this is what I did for my fitness business. Then I did uh, personal, and I'll erase that, personal trainer uh, testimonial. So now I have a couple keywords in there. I have my location. And so when people start searching, they can find it. Uh, next thing we wanna do is create a new category. Sometimes uh, not everybody wants their testimonials and reviews in the same page as all of their blogs. So it's super easy to create another page just for your testimonials. So we would wanna create a new category just for testimonials. That way we can list all the testimonials on one page just from our blog post. Then the last thing we wanna do is uh, besides tags and all the other SEO stuff, but add their image um, inside the post. That way you have an image, the copy, the keywords, and everything you need for Google to pick up on it. So that's his social media image from LinkedIn. And then we're gonna publish it. Now you have this post, you have a new link in your site, and now you can start publishing it um, on social media. You can start sharing it and it's gonna start increasing your results on Google. Cool. Uh, hopefully you guys grab my, uh, my business review form and that way you guys can start sending it out. Also, uh, just like I mentioned, social media image or the review images, set up the category. So I will send you guys this checklist over. Um, it's really gonna help your website start ranking up in Google. I was on the first page after a year. So 12, think about it in 12 months. It, let's say, You've had a business for a while, not much action. Most people don't get action from their website, especially for a long time. Think about next year at this time, next fall, and you're getting 10 new clients a month just from your website. And these are people that are finding your testimonials. They're making it to your other pages on your site. It's definitely a game changer for your business. Now, let's just say you have already have 10 a month. By next year, you're going to bump it up to 20 to 30 a month. So either way, it's gonna be beneficial for you an hour a month out of your time to do this and it's really gonna help. So if you guys have said yes already, I will PM you the checklist and the form, just copy it, use it for your business, make sure it gets sent out. And of course, if you guys need any help, I'm here to help you and guide you just to make sure you get this set up the right way. Hope everyone has a great day and I will talk to you later.